you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video. Let's get right into it. Tilray Inc. Ticker symbol T L R Y. Sixteen dollars and seven cents at the time of this video. Up twenty six percent today, trading day, trading session. Twenty six percent in gains. Wanted to make a video talking about Tilray, talking about really why it's up, and really get your guys' opinion in the comments about Tilray, Tilray, and just cannabis marijuana stocks as a whole, as the entire sector has kind of been down over the last. I guess six months, almost all of 21 kind of been down. And over the last 48 hours or so, starting to see a nice green spike. So Tilray, you guys, like I said, marijuana cannabis stock. Volume pretty high today, 77 million in volume already compared to an average volume of 25. And market cap sitting at $7.123 billion. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Tilray, obviously one of the larger i guess cannabis companies in the world but back on may 3rd tilray and afria announced the completion of the previous announced business combination ushering in a new era in the global cannabis industry the combined company which will operate as tilray brings together two highly complemented complementary businesses to create the leading cannabis focused consumer packaged goods company with the largest global geographic footprint in the industry the combined company had a market cap of approximately 8.2 billion based on the closing stock prices on april 30th 2021 so afria and tilray merged i mean it's been official for a little while now and the reason i think tilray i mean obviously the reason tilray is exploding today is because they actually got their first um you know, they got their first fiscal fourth quarter earnings or just their first results, right, since the Afria merger. So Tilray and Afria became one company and they got their first results since the merger as a whole. You can see here cannabis, Canadian cannabis producer Tilray on Wednesday reported better than expected fiscal fourth quarter earnings, but sales just missed. Tilray stock jumped and other marijuana stocks rallied. We can see uh, other marijuana stocks like Sundial, Canopy, Canopy Growth, Aurora, Kronos, Hexo are all in the green today all having nice green days and definitely riding off the Tilray, um, you know, jump today that Tilray saw. So the results are first from Tilray since it merged with rival Afria in May, a move that fattened the company's market value, but raised questions about its positioning outside of Canada. So currently in Canada, you know, marijuana laws in Canada are super eased. USA depends on the state. Um, you know, there's a lot of states in Southern, U Southern United States and more kind of on the East Coast that are don't have as eased or have stricter marijuana protocols and regulations obviously those are looking positive as they're you know probably going to change and marijuana at the federal level will probably be legalized you know sometime in the next couple of years we've seen mexico start to integrate more legalization protocols for marijuana and cannabis in mexico and i mean that's all of north america right there but again people were questioning whether or not Afria and I mean now Tilray and Afria together can really position themselves in the cannabis market outside of Canada because again there's a lot of companies I think in the United States that are just waiting for the you know green light to fully you know become a publicly traded company or whatever they need to do um, you know as soon as cannabis is legalized at the federal level and those companies are ready to go so it's important for companies like Tilray and, you know, Sundial and Canopy Growth to position themselves for when those legalizations do happen, um, that they can capitalize on them. But Tilray's earnings, which is, you know, why we're talking about this is Wall Street expects Tilray's to lose Tilray to lose eight, eight cents per share. According to Zach's revenue was seen coming in at 142.93 million results. So this is the, that was the estimates. This is the results. Tilray reported GAAP earnings of 18 cents a share. Revenue revenue rose 25 percent to 142.2 million. Tilray generated free cash flow of 3.3 versus cash burn of 28.3 a year earlier. So you can see here the merger with Afria brings together Tilray's medical businesses in Europe and Australia and Afria's pharma distribution business, which had driven a majority of Afria's sales. It also combines Manitoba Harvest, which makes hemp CBD extracts, hemp granola, and other foods, and Craft Brewer Sweetwater. The two companies sell products in the U.S. When the, deal, merger, when the merger deal announced last year, marijuana stocks analysts said that those businesses would do little capture the U.S. market for THC products whenever it might open up to Canadian producers. So like I said, analysts, Myron, a stock analyst specifically, said it would be tough for those businesses to 
have an imprint, um, have an impact, I guess, on the U.S. market as far as marijuana cannabis products go. But nonetheless, I mean, I think Tilray is definitely positioning themselves to be somewhat of a leader in the industry. And obviously, these results and the jump in price today do kind of speak to that. So Tilray stock leaped 21% to $15.44 in the stock market today. Obviously, it's higher than that right now, sitting at close to 16 <clears throat> um, Again, all the other cannabis stocks are kind of up. The results from Tilray follow a difficult round of earnings for other U.S. traded Canada Canadian producers who have blamed coronavirus retail restrictions in Canada and Europe for weaker sales. However, Ontario, Canada's most populous province, has been easing restrictions. And that's another thing, too. Um, I, I know in the United States, where, where I reside, that cannabis industry was actually, because of the pandemic, kind of more lucrative, I guess. More people were obviously dabbling into the marijuana and, you know, looking to possibly get into the marijuana industry, um, you know, as a merchant. So I think it just depends where you live, obviously. But now that restrictions are easing, more and more people are getting access to cannabis and buying cannabis. So then let's just take a look at the Tilray stock chart if we take a look let's look at the last year so till right here sitting five six dollars four five six started to jump up and was clearly exploding back february i mean this is where we saw just sundial all these cannabis stocks apple absolutely explode i think sundial hit was like almost four dollars and Tilray was up to 63 dollars you guys 63 dollars 91 cents just absolutely crazy has fallen off from there kind of just completely trickled down trickled down and then it was like I said, in the red for the past 10 days or so for a while now. And you can see it absolutely popping up here today. So again, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Tilray. Definitely one of those cannabis stocks that is extremely popular. Um, a lot of people seem to be talking about Tilray. So let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Drop a like on this video. And as always, have a great day.